Welcome back here on board the Queen Mary 2, a luxury cruise liner from Cunard. I'm Morgan from the Very Unofficial Travel Guides, and today we're going to be checking out the buffet options. I have cruised with many cruise lines. This is my first experience with Cunard, and we are only on the ship for basically a day and a half. So I'm not going to be able to show you a huge variety of buffet options. One thing that I like about this traditional kind of cruise ship buffet is that there's different things offered every day. If I compare that to Virgin Voyages, which was the last cruise ship I was on, the the galley that they have there, which is basically their buffet option, they have the same menu every day at all the stations. Only on longer cruises will each station have one speciality that changes each day. This isn't something that we had experienced on our Virgin Cruise, uh, that somebody wrote to me to inform me of that on our cruise. The galley just had the same stuff every day. It was good stuff, but it just, it didn't change. And with this traditional style of buffet, I appreciate that the things change every day here on Cunard. When we boarded the ship yesterday, we ate in the buffet and also we had breakfast there today. We had lunch there today and we will most likely also be having dinner in the buffet as well. So I, like I said, I can't show you every single thing that was offered for breakfast, for lunch and for dinner, but these are some of the highlights. And to tell you a little bit about my impressions of this food before we get to the end, anytime you're critiquing food, it's really a matter of personal taste. Things that taste good to some people don't taste good to other people, that's, that's obvious. Anybody who has kids knows that that's obvious. And so it's hard to say if this food is good or bad or better or worse than. I can only tell you that in regards to my matter of personal taste. And I guess I would put this food in the buffet in the same category as Royal Caribbean. There's some really good things. There's some things that are only okay, but altogether, it's not super, super excellent, but it's definitely also not terrible. Is it what you would expect from this cruise line, from this level of luxury or premium level of cruising? I don't know. I guess you need to come here and, and find that out for yourself. But from looking at it, what do you think? Does this meet what you expected the Queen Mary 2 to be offering. As far as my personal experience and my personal taste goes, I think the food we had on Celebrity was a little bit better than this. And I know this is something that surprises people a lot, but the food that we had on Carnival in the buffet was, according to my personal taste, much better than the food here. A more interesting selection, a more modern take on things, bolder flavors, and just more, especially for people who don't like to eat meat, more interesting options. More than just a salad bar and a pizza without meat. Which is what you'll get if you go to the buffet for dinner on MSC and you don't eat meat. You'll get a salad and a piece of cheese pizza. Just a moment 
I wish we had more time here on this ship. We don't. We'll be leaving tomorrow morning when we arrive back in Hamburg, Germany, and there will be other videos from this journey going on the channel. So as you are continuing to look at these tasty food options, make sure you're subscribed. And while you're down there, please press the thumbs up button to let YouTube know that this video was worth watching. And let me know what cruise line you've been on that the buffet tasted the best to you. And let me know which one from your experience you think also has the most room for improvement. Before I go, let me just say again, I don't think the food on here is bad, but I was expecting a little bit more and I think a lot of other people would also expect more from this level of cruise line. I'm Morgan from the Very Unofficial Travel Guides. See you soon. Yeah,